Welcome to my channel. This is Sam, and I'm playing Starfield. Vice can be indulged, and they make up new vices every Thursday. So you had the high to route away. Thank you. 
Sure. Everybody likes you, don't they? Well, if you listen to your friend. There is simply no parallel to the food you will find here. One taste, and I'm sure you'll agree. Ah, most unfortunate incident. Complicated by the fact that both parties were inebriated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio had been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throats. witnessed by theft, and both men were wearing rings, if I recall correctly. I assume that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after Lucy's security arrived. I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon, but I will start there. Enjoy the rest of your day. मिशन भाई लेना तो नहीं चाहिए लेकिन ले चुका हूँ तो मुझे लग रहा है ये मैं कैसे कर रहा हूँ तुम भी कर तुम भी कर सकते हो वैसे बस टाइमिंग सही होनी चाहिए ही वो Lying, cheating, foul piece of dung liner dropping! If I had my way, I'd tie into the back of a ship and grab jump it right into the nearest star! Five years we worked together, half a decade! And he threw it all away for that waiter! It was supposed to be a romantic dinner, our last before we pledged our lives to it. But then an hour before, I decided to do some <clears throat> I eat up a pair of pants he left on the floor, and out falls a napkin from the dawn's roost with a number written on the back. To think he had the audacity to schedule a date with me at the same restaurant? I was livid! Sim! I went to the date and held it together just long enough for the waiter to serve us, then I went off! He would say that, but as far as I'm concerned, it's my property. He gifted it to me when he proposed. It's not his to return. I don't care. I'm not giving it to you. Your title does not make you above the law. True, right? Don't want to go to this end. I have stories and they will barely end. I think my lawyer will disagree. Either way, if Octavio wants to take me to court, then so be it. I don't care if you're with UC security, I have rights. And as far as the ring goes, I don't know what the law says, but I doubt you do either. As soon as my assistant finishes packing my things, I'm taking them. Not just dating. No. There are some things in life that cannot be repaired. Cheating is his way of saying, I don't love you. And without love, what's the point? He would say that, but as far as I, he gifted it to me. We're not having this argument again. Maybe you can convince me later after I've cooled down. Sí. 
Jesus and cut through ends. He would say that, but he gifted it. Alright, but I'm leaving this city as soon as I can calm myself down. As soon as my assistant finishes packing. Good day. My persuasion just did not work. Garantin, I'm late like to a meeting. Then why are you here? This place always surprises me. Bitch. Get out of here, bitch. Fuckers don't even have the orders to talk to their partners but still have a lawyer. Make you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second in command. 
I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the Cabinet. Chief Yassin wants you to know the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor. Accessing the Terramorph data and beyond. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need. And that means first getting you into the Archives. You do know what the Archives are, correct? Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. So, then you also know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Access to the Archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency, and requires a one-time use code from each of the three Armistice Signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people. The Ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun to hand over their codes. Get them both, and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. I couldn't agree more. However, both ambassadors have reasons they won't, or can't, work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar, or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Let's go for House Varun. Ambassador Balmore's... a challenge. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the Armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. But claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. Well, these days, they're primarily considered a security threat. House Varun Zealots, a fundamentalist outshoot of the group that stayed behind when the rest retreated into seclusion, want nothing more than to send everyone not dedicated to their cause to the great serpent in the sky. But that hasn't always been the case. After they ended the Serpent's Crusade about 70 years back, House Varun did take a real run at trying to normalize relations with the rest of the galaxy. It's why they have an embassy here in the first place, why they were included in the armistice negotiations. But then, without warning, they left, leaving behind, to our knowledge, just the Ambassador and his duty under the Armistice. It does, but there's a concern. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. His public appearances were always rare, but it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. It would at least be a speedier negotiation, but I, of course, hope the ambassador is alive and well. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here. This device should get you all the way down to the Embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, mm -hmm. finding the Ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the Embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Ah, the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make us miserable. Well then, hope she's doing a good job. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. Who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on 
other tools to get her code. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the Ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Now, we recovered some intel we believe should be able to help with that. But there's also a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. Yes, many. Don't steal anything. Don't get caught anywhere you're not supposed to. Absolutely do not harm anyone. If something goes wrong, we'll do our best to smooth things over. But I can't make any promises. So this is like Mission Impossible, but... Name's Cameron Long. He's younger than Radcliffe, bears less of a grudge towards the UC. He works closely with the Ambassador, making him a promising source for information on the ins and outs of Embassy life. And someone who very likely hates her guts. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give him a heads up here on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. And take these. Chief is seeing one of you to have some options on how to proceed in there. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. Yes?
Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it's just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Ambassador, I can't emphasize how important this is. And who might you... Oh, I recognize that face. You're a co, aren't you? Didn't you run away to help that little explorer's club? Really? I explore Islam. Ma'am, I've signed up to help my friend here who's looking to stop a whole heap of needless pain and suffering. Imagine if this happened in Aquila City or Neon. The results would be bad, or let's be honest here, far, far worse. We owe it to our people to do something. It's a disturbing thought, Mr. Coe. And while it is my job to protect the people of the Collective, the way to do that, I believe, is clear. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time, and yours, and go. No, Captain, I'm not, and I'll tell you why. What you experienced down there at the spaceport, I've lived that once before already. Fought tooth and nail as aliens rampaged in the streets of my home and others all throughout the collective. But my aliens were placed there by UC hands. So I'm not interested in anyone getting power like that ever again. The UC, most of all. You have my answer. Now please take the hint. You're really gonna push this? All right, I will give you one chance, one, to convince me. Understood. I'm listening. The cost of being wrong is a high one. The warmongers of the UC will find a way to make it dangerous. You have my word. I could be the hero here. Well, Captain, you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm gonna need the following concessions. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. You go in once. You get everything you need on your trip, and never again. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, the galaxy needs to be involved in the oversight. Freestar scientists will watch your people like hawks. So, do we have an agreement? Excellent. Follow me. I thought I'm failing this persuasion, but this it was easier than I thought. Every argument you talk to people here in this game is like Freestyle and MC and we need the last port. Ground 
blue space helmet. So I'm not gonna steal. This is just not me. I'm gonna go. And this mission can be stuck for me. We can be at the bottom.
fuck is that?
डोर भी लॉक हो गया इसीलिए नहीं मिल पा रहा हूँ
zero resources mein cosmetic to saline Serpents decides for us. You have my thanks and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Not the ideal introduction. I suppose giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the venom tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? Tell me though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly?
Harmless spores, you have my word, but hard to navigate. Hence why I was guiding you through the intercoms to restore the environmental controls. And release me. It is the sap of the tree that gives it its... Well, <laughs> perhaps not a topic for this exact moment. But I must know of the rest of the city. Does it still stand? Is that right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door, hmm? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Uh, an archive code. So the UC requires information, then. On terror morphs, presumably. Hmm? He's smart. Do I see this all clearly? The preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the Archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks? There is logic there. But, if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Now, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. For whatever it's worth, Sam Co here. You got my word too. Well then, I shall not fear. Please, follow me. of House Varun are our own. They left. That is all there is to be said on the subject.
you're back sooner than... Oh, oh wait. Did, did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe and Balmore? Oh, we're all in agreement. Dealing with the interests and egos of people who don't necessarily like you is rarely easy. But I suppose that didn't stop you, did it? And now, I've no, already didn't. arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right? Okay. Hello. Fifty seven minutes so we are. Fifty eight, fifty nine minutes with him. Captain, can I help you? Yes, I am here to start. शुरू नहीं करूँगा क्योंकि अभी शुरू करने जाऊँगा तो वो भाई बहुत टाइम लगेगा एटलीस्ट आधा घंटा तो ले ही लेगा आधा घंटा मतलब सौ दिन पार हो जाएगा वीडियो का साइज स्टार्ट करेंगे इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो थैंक यू गाइस फॉर वाचिंग स्टे ट्यून फॉर मोर एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब आई विल बैक विद मोर एक्साइटिंग वीडियोस अंटिल देन स्टे ट्यून एंड हैव अ गुड डे गाइस आई हैव सो मेनी ऑफ दिस कार्टरिज Skill point. Right. soon have a good day take care i'll be back with idea to next so stay tuned for that too bye guys see you soon